By the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to be sharing a word with us that the Lord gave me to share with you. And by his help, I have titled it Seven Keys to Your Testimony. I'm not going to be sharing the whole of the seven today. I'm going to share one. But as time progresses, we'll continue to share more. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Genesis 13. I'll read 14 to 16. Genesis 13, verse 14 to 16. Seven keys to your testimony. And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him, lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth. So that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also be numbered. My teaching is from this line. And the Lord said to Abram, after, mark that word, after what Lot left him. After Lot departed from him. After Lot separated from him. The first time God spoke to Abraham, he gave him direction. He said, Abraham, leave your father's house. Go to a place I will show to you. Nowhere in that instruction did God tell Abraham, carry Lot along with you. As we're approaching 2022, in fact, we're already in 2022 by the grace of God. There are certain lots that you must drop. Oh. Lots in people. The lot of a character that you know is not going to take you to where God has promised you. There are certain separations that you must intentionally do. And there are certain decisions that you must make. And most times those decisions are hard to make. I believe that it was out of love that Abraham took Lot. He was probably his favorite uncle, his favorite relative, his favorite cousin, whatever. It was out of love. He saw something good. He said, my brother, come, follow me. And because of this man, Abraham, the Bible says Lot was blessed. Both of them were blessed to the extent that even where they settled, their material possession was so much that Abraham looked. He said, this one, our king's men are beginning to have problems. Let us go our separate ways. If you choose the north, I will go to the east. If you choose the east, I will go the other way. A good man. And you know what Lot did? A man who carried you out of nothing into something. He said you should choose before him and you chose before him. Let me tell you, you can kill yourself for certain people like you are already doing. Be it friendship, be it relationship, be it in your business, be it whoever, even a family member. If God has said separate until you do what he has said, let me tell you, there will not be open heavens. It is not by accident that scripture recorded it that immediately Lot left Abraham. God spoke to him. He said, now my son is ready to enlarge. Wherever you see, you will dominate. Your children, your descendants will not be able to be numbered. Some of your breakthrough is still being tied down because of your association. And my number one point out of the seven, do not be afraid to walk alone. Do not be afraid to walk alone. And I'm not teaching you to be anybody's enemy. Because even the man, our father Abraham, that we're talking about today, when Lot was captured, the same Abraham ran to save him. But it didn't mean they, 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 they continued to live together. What has God told you to do? Are you a smoker? Are you a drug addict? Whatever it is that God has said, leave it. No matter how sweet that thing is, leave it. So 
selfish people like Lot are around you. People that you are helping, you are carrying them everywhere you are going. Even when you don't have money, you send to the village, you send to this uncle, you send to this auntie. Let me tell you, when it comes to the bane of decision, people will choose what will favor them. No matter what you do for them, they will always choose what to what? Favor them. That is human nature. That is what? Human nature. And you cannot change it. If that relationship is not working, two years, uh, we'll do introduction. Three years, we'll do introduction. Four years, we'll do introduction. Because you feel no man will come, you keep yourself there. Keeping yourself in a place where you know your husband will not come. Keeping yourself, let me tell you, this thing has two parts. Some has to do with you as a person. If you are doing a business or a job that you do not like, let me tell you, you cannot grow in it. A lot of people are in professions just because they want to be employed. But if you stay in a profession that you're not passionate about, your best cannot come out. People will call you lazy. People will call this one cannot do anything. It is because you are not doing what you love. If you are doing what you love, nobody will run after you to be at work. Nobody will tell you, it is time to stand up. Go and open your shop. Nobody will tell you. The reason why you are dragging your feet, it is because you have not decided to let go. If you want to be great, you must learn to walk alone. Because when you are walking alone, you are not looking for people that will celebrate you. You don't care who celebrates you. See, there are many ways to point selfish people around you. When they are celebrating you, instead of concentrating on the ones that are clapping, look at the ones that are not clapping. Am I talking to some people here? When it is your birthday, some will celebrate, some will not celebrate. And the person is close to you. My references now are not people that are found. I'm talking about people that are close to you. They will do as if they didn't remember. When they say, ah, I forgot, happy birthday. It's a lie. You buy a new car, they have heard. They will not call you. This car is fine, but you would have bought black. You know, black is the. Be ready to walk alone. If after everything Abraham did for Lot, he can look at. The Bible says he looked all around and all the place that was watered, which the places that were good, that looked like the garden all around Jordan. Lot looked at it and chose before a man that helped you. There are many lots in your life. <laughs> Am I talking to my sons here? The lot in the form of a woman that only likes you when you give her money. That is your own lot. Every day you say, let us go and see your father. She'll be postponing you because you are just Mr. Big's man. You are not the main man. Am I talking to us here? Am I talking to us here? Leave everything that will not bring your promotion. In your working place, if you have people that are not helping you build your vision, your purpose, and your dreams, what are you doing? You open a shop, your sales guy will not come till 11. What are you doing? You expect that business to grow. It's not because you hate them, but sometimes when your vision and the people around you do not align, do not be afraid to walk away. Abraham departed, separated from Lot. At the end of the day, God spoke. If you want God to bless everything that you are doing, leave every habit. You say you want to be great, but you wake up at 11. A lot of big men, they don't sleep. If they sleep, they sleep six, five hours. There was one of Baba's son, and we we're talking about sleep, and he said, I can't afford to do seven hours. Not because I don't want to, but I cannot afford. I was listening to Elon Musk's interview. He's one of the richest in the world. And he said when he started his business, there were times he was sleeping in his office. His business was going to collapse. He knew that if he didn't pay this price, his business would collapse. A man that was sleeping in his office today is one of the richest men. 
if he wants to buy a Lamborghini, they say it's just two hours is enough. He doesn't even have to leave his house. Millions of dollars every hour. You are here. <laughs> I don't understand. Because you want to keep friends. Because you want to keep relationship. Jeb Bezos, who is also one of the richest men, when he started, was sleeping in his office. He had an idea. People were laughing. He wants to have a, an online thing where people will just be buying things and you'll be supplying. He followed his vision. If he listened to all those naysayers who said what you are talking about does not make sense. When they are counting the five richest men, his name is mentioned. What are you doing with your life? You want to follow friends. You want to follow people that don't, that don't have dreams. Your friends, when they look at your friends, and I'm not talking about making friends with people that didn't have money. These two people I mentioned had people that believed in them because they did not start rich. So it meant why they didn't have enough money to pay the best employees. There were some that came and said, oh, this thing you, you're talking about sounds good. Let, let me be a part of it. Be like Abraham today. In fact, I have started my, you know, it's, it's not enough that will give you, you, you will say, I have New Year's resolution. This is what I will do. This is what I will do. After one month, you go and sleep. Be selective of your friends. Be selective of your association. Be selective. The most important and expensive thing on earth is time. Do we know that? The most important and the most expensive thing is time. If you are a time waster, you cannot be my friend. Because my time is counting. You same 24 hours that people are out there making it in life, following their dreams with passion. It's the same 24 hours you have. It's the same head you have. It's the same blood you have. They don't have longer days. What is the difference between one and the other? The grace of God, number one. Number two, their own effort and decisions. You want to make it? God will bless the works of your hand. He will prosper you. He will open doors for you. But if you leave church and the next place you want to go and finish your blessing is in a garden. Number one point, and I remind us again, be ready to walk alone. I used to love to disseminate. I used to love to engage different people when I want to do something. I, I, I preach it, try and share the workload. But my dear, you get a CB sometimes. Because you are the only one who understands what you want. And you're the only one who is driven. You're the only one who understands your life. Who understands your business. Who understands vision, mission of what you want to achieve. Nobody will give it to you like you. So you must work hard. Be ready to walk alone. It might get lonely. It might get miserable. I'm sure when Jeff Bezos and the rest were sleeping in their office, Elon Musk was sleeping in his office, I'm sure no woman wanted to talk to him. <laughs> what of today? But being real, it will get lonely. In fact, they will gossip about you. They will say different things about you. But in your heart, you know your vision. Follow it. After now, go home. Make your vision plain. Write them down. And anybody who is going to kill it, tap your chest and say, I have God. Be going. God will help me. God will sustain me. God will empower me. God will make a way. No matter who and what that person is, if the person will not help your life, there are friends you have, they never give you good advice. Anytime you see them, it's to gossip about other people. And if you look at it, people that are gossiping about it is better than them. Because if you are busy, you, you, you are planning your life, are you going to have time to sit down and talk about another woman or another man? That's why they say, <laughs> back, backwards. From this 2022, there are certain attitudes and habits that you must imbibe. Be selfish and be intentional about it. And God will do what only he can do for you. Nobody is a God over your life. 